Hello and uh, good afternoon. Welcome to this class about uh, UMail, which is a virtual voicemail application. In this class, I'm going to talk to you about the setup process and how to join email and what it entails. But first off, I want to take you to the front of the page where you learn about email and the features. Here is the front of the site. It tells you all about it, testimonials. Here is the features that email offers you. You basically can get a free phone number um, if you sign up for the premium account. I'll show you all the features that it offers you. These are all the features that email offers. And the main reason why I bet you're on this class is to find out about prices. The free plan basically gives you the free call blocking and voicemail. Uh, 50 messages saved forever. So basically, if you decide you want to save a message, uh, you can have 50, 50 messages saved. Uh, 20 transcript messages a month. So if somebody sends you a message, it will be transcribed. Uh, 120 minutes um, a month, and that's for the free account. Premium account, you see how much it gives you. But what you came here for was the free account and basic account setup. So say you don't have the app on your phone, you don't have the email app on your phone, you can download it on your phone and you can do the setup here. But since you're on this class and you're wanting to learn how to set it up, what you do is you click on get started and you enter in your phone number. So whatever your phone is, phone number is, you could enter it in this box and it will automatically uh, take you there. Go ahead and sign into my account here real quick. This is the online uh, screen for the UMail online. So when you're on UMail and you could basically see that I've got about 15 total calls this month and one total calls this month basically. So calls is here, calls per month is here, zero blocked this month and zero blocked uh, um, overall since last month. Here's the different boxes. You have your inbox, your save message box, your trash bin, your spam folder, and your sent messages. You have your different settings, which I will go through. Settings that brings you to your basic protection. Make sure that this box is always checked. Blacklist is where you add some phone numbers that you want to be blacklisted. It will blacklist those numbers for you. The allowed list is what allows you to have your calls given. So like if there's somebody that's not on your phone directory, you can add them here and it'll allow it to go through. Usage is how much you're using per month with the carrier. It actually has a meter that tells you how you're doing with the uh, um, usage. But that's not really of significance to me because I don't have to worry about it, to be honest. Greeting summary. This is what tells you what your greeting summary is, um, where you create your uh, personalized greetings or anything like that. Auto attendant, uh, you have to have an upgrade to use that. Your primary number, um, this is where, or private number, this is where uh, somebody calls you and their private number, uh, they'll get this message. 
reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached its recording an error, please check the number and try your call again. So they'll get that message if it's a private call. Here's where all your greetings are stored. And you basically can make personalized greetings for each of your contacts. I won't show you the contacts, but you get the general idea. You can make personalized groups, personalized greetings for each of them. And if you want to see the greetings directory, there's a way you can get in there and it will show you those greetings. Groups is where you make your groups um, and it will block those people um, in the list. It'll block whoever's in that list um, as far as your block list goes. Uh, coworkers, this is where like if you have uh, organization and you're wanting to put them in this particular group, you can put them in that group. Uh, you can see that I've got my personalized group and my personalized message. Here is my uh, friends list message where you can see all the different groups there. And this is the ham operator directory and my people first directory. When you first install Umail, it's going to ask you a question. Do you want to import your contacts? You would say yes. And then this is what it would look like when you're on the web. But when you're using the app and you're installing it for the first time, it's going to ask you if you want to import the contacts. And this is where the contacts are. Conference calls. Um, this is if you want to have a conference with somebody set up and you could actually uh, set up a conference with that person. Um, it'll take you here. The settings is pretty self-explanatory. Um, account information. This is where all your account information is when you joined. Uh, all kinds of neat stuff. Um, your auto attendant, like I said, that's an upgrade. You pretty much have to have um, an upgrade for that. Uh, auto reply is also an upgrade. Uh, call protection, like I said, you want to make sure that this setting stays green. You don't want to do anything with it, so leave it as it is. The conferencing, this is what I was talking about earlier. Um, if you want to make a conference call, you basically go to this and uh, they would call your number and then they would press option eight to get into the conference call and they can enter in their phone number um, and get into the conference call with a pin if you have it. Um, the pin is required. So basically you would enter in this pin right here and you get into the conference call if you decided you wanted to have a conference call. Uh, mailboxes, um, you basically have a number of mailboxes that you can have. Um, Umail will tell you what your mailbox limit is. Uh, I recommend that um, the message length, the maximum message length is two minutes, but you could actually go in here and you could set how long you want the message length to be. Uh, to me, the maximum limit um, is two minutes, but um, eventually I am going to change it to a shorter or to a longer message length because I know a lot of people that will have higher message length. Um, auto inbox cleanup. Now this is where you get the upgrade deal. You have to upgrade. Um, the amount of messages that can be stored in your inbox is limited to 100. Um, the messages in the trash don't count. So basically, if you get up to 100 messages and you listen to all 100 and you dump them in the, tr in the trash bin, that doesn't count towards the uh, the limit. Community username. Say, for example, you join the community and you want to be able to add your community username. You can do that here. Um, auto voicemail um, 
online voicemail autoplay, uh, you set that option here. I do not recommend the autoplay. Uh, online voicemail sharing, uh, I don't recommend sharing voicemails. Um, let's see what else is there. Payment method. Um, you can add your payment method here if you want to get premium down the line. Um, that basically gives you the um, payment methods if you want to be able to do that. And this is where it gets really neat. You could upload, upload your own pictures. In this box, you can upload a picture for your um, front side here. You can upload a picture. Next thing is security, like I went through before, uh, but this is a little different. You actually can change your password if you need to change it. Um, email public directory. Um, your name is not published in email public directory. You could actually go in here and change that if you want to be listed in the public directory. I say no way. Don't put your name in the public directory. This is where you cancel your email account if you decide later on you want to cancel it. You could actually go in here and cancel the email account if you want to. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about is the voicemail to text. Uh, you can configure it to where if you get um, email alerts, it will email you. Push alerts um, is automatically set when you install the app. Uh, greetings, you can edit your agreement. Your greetings here, you can basically make a new greeting if you want. Um, you can transcript to everyone. You can transcript to the, um, you can do all these different options as far as the transcript. I'm basically, forgive me if I'm going through this too fast for you. And we went through account already, went through the auto attendant. I'm just making sure that I'm not skipping anything that I don't need to skip here. Uh, order is where if you order a service, if you order the, the premium service, it will show here. Um, the statements, uh, that's another thing to do with the uh, um, the premium service. Here's where you can invite somebody to join email. You give them this referral link or whatever, um, they can go in and join email and you earn like little credits. Uh, so if you want to refer somebody to email, they join, you get a credit. And the more credits you get, uh, the more you have the chance of being able to use one of the premium services. As we talked about with the upgrades, uh, these are the different upgrades uh, that you can have. Uh, you can pay annually or you can pay monthly. So that's kind of what the upgrades are. Um, the community uh, basically is where you can have the public directory, like I told you before, or your voicemail greeting list. Uh, this takes you into where all your different greetings, you can select personalized ones. Uh, some are free, some are paid. So bear that in mind when you use it. Um, the help center, this is where you get your help and support, where if you have a question, you can call your mail directly um, Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, or you can email them Saturday through Sunday, um, 8 a.m. to 4 uh, p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, or Eastern Standard Time. And that's uh, email support only. Um, you can create an account with it and you can go in and review your support tickets anytime you submit one. 
anyway, that is UMail in general. Reminder, if you have any questions, you could always submit a comment in the uh, section of this video. I will leave a link to uh, umail.com in, uh, in the section of this message. Uh, once again, uh, thank you for joining this class and uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.